We said I wouldn't play Liar's Poker with a guy. You wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't do what? Wouldn't play Liar's Poker with that guy. No, no, no. No, no. I wouldn't either. <laughs> but we were we were saying, can you tell if we're telling the truth? Okay. Now, so throw a truth or a lie at him. Okay. And make it make it about bourbon. Let's 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 keep it topical. Oh sure. Now, now he may lie and not know it. <laughs> throw a truth or a lie about bourbon at him, Bernie. Let's see if Robert knows. The best bourbon in the world is made by Fred No. Truth. <laughs> you damn right. I can see it in your face, and I knew it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, throw another one. Throw. Get more difficult about it. Come on now. Oh, come on. Right? What do you want me to do? You know, um, you know bourbon. Let's let's see if you can. Because I, I I knew I was telling a lie. Just... Bourbon has to be made in Kentucky. Now, really look at him closely for this one. That's true. I can tell looking at your eyes. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> Does it? Now, to Bernie, it probably is true. All the good bourbon in the world is made in Kentucky. Oh, the good bourbon's the rest of we made anywhere in the United States. That's right. That's Benny, geez, suck me out there for a minute. <laughs> but 95% is made in, made in Kentucky. And we're at Kentucky Bourbon Festival 2011 with Robert Williamson III, our good friend that we see a lot at Derby and at Vegas when we're there, and Bernie Lovers, our good friend that we see everywhere bourbon goes, That's right. the whiskey That's professor, right. and we're trying to challenge Robert to see if he knows if we're telling truths or lies about bourbon. Now here's the truth. You didn't know this was going to be a whole festival. You just thought it was one dinner, right? It's true. Actually, I thought it was a party. Good friend's house. <laughs> I thought my buddy Freddie said he was going to have a few friends over. We're going to cook some barbecue. I, I needless to say, when I showed up, and he, there was a couple hundred of his best friends. I was pretty surprised. <laughs> And quite a star of the list. I mean, you know, but, but we, anywhere that we go, Robert's a good friend of ours. Met him at the World Series of Poker a few years ago, and now he's he's kind of a he's he's in the posse. That's uh, I don't, like it or not, Robert, you're you're part of the family. I like that word, family. Posse. I like posse too. <laughs> it is a posse and a family with Jim Beam. I mean, we can we you can feel it just here. You can feel the camaraderie. You really. I mean, really. Every every place I go, I see you guys. It, it's like family. It really is. Oh, totally, it is. And you know, and 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 Robert. I mean, when he comes from Derby, we we talk with uh, you know the, his his buddies that are jockeys, and they're all a, a little family that you know together. And and you know, horse racing and bourbon go real well together. And and I that's you know I guess that's one reason we all hit it off. It's about it. One of many reasons, I would say. Some good people are attracted to good people. Exactly. And you're, you're a bourbon fan. I am a fan as well, yes. Does it help in a poker game? I mean, is it, does it help with a truth detector? Having a little more bourbon helps? I think the first few drinks help, but after that, I won't tell no lies. <laughs> Might not help as much after you, you know. It's a fine line. Now, for the rest of us, how do you really know if someone's telling the truth or lying? I mean, is there is there any little tips you can give us? Well, I'm actually studying a lot of things at one time. Most of it's just feel, like I can feel whether you're lying or telling the truth. But then there's the voice inflection, the rapid eye movement, uh, temporal lobe movement, neck, uh, you know, just glancing at a lot of things like that in general. Who's the best liar you ever met? Me. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the best bourbon you ever met? Uh, Old Granddad is my first favorite bourbon. Still is one of my very favorite bourbons in the world. And uh, of course, I'm a big fan of Knob Creek. So uh, Knob Creek and uh, Old Granddad. But Old Granddad was my. You never forget your first one. So uh, you know. So that's that's my first one. Are you good at poker? I'm pretty damn good at poker. Yeah. I'm not like I'm not like this guy. But, Have you played uh, him before? Uh, we've yeah. been in the same arena, but I don't think we've ever played in the same table. <laughs> and we're in the, the we're Palace the theater. We've uh, you know we do our Robert's gracious enough to come in. We do our poker thing every uh, derby at the Palace for Denny Crumb's deal, and uh, yeah. we've we've been in the same room playing, but we haven't uh, been next to each other. But uh, it's it's a blast. It's a blast. And it's a blast here at Kentucky Bourbon Festival. You may stay around a little longer. I mean, we may be able to get you stay for the rest of the week, possibly, now that you know it's a festival. Honey, I swear I didn't tell them I was staying. <laughs> oh, man, I only lie when my eyes are moving fast. <laughs> well, it's great to be with both of you. Great to see you again, Robert, here at, at, uh, at the Smokehouse. The, the right. famous Smokehouse been around for over 100 years. So great to see you, as always. Yeah. That's right. Now, is there another meaning besides the Smokehouse that we don't know about, do you think? Look at my eyes. Can you tell I'm? Can you tell if I'm going to tell the truth? Yes. There's plenty. <laughs> Am I going to divulge them? No. 
<laughs> Says, tell me no lies and keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Cheers, gentlemen. It's been a lot of fun. Cheers. Cheers. Here's your Jim Beam. Head to poker. We only encourage responsible drinking by those who have legal age to drink in their countries or regions. So be safe, be legal, and never drink and drive.